I've always had this thing, like a proclivity for arrangement. I saw a lot of disorder in the world around me. I think a lot of immigrants do. But I was always that kid that liked to arrange space. So the films are very often an act of relocation and trying to find coherence. Very often, the places that people choose to inhabit in my films are some sort of uh, combination between a physical space and something that's been transformed into a, a metaphorical zone where that space is shrouded in all sorts of other events or memories that, that they're still trying to sort out. Well, so many places you see you wouldn't think twice about. They pass right through you, and then... for s no reason, you can see a house and find yourself wondering what is going on inside of those walls. And sometimes, the opportunity comes to find out. And it could be... Um, an open door that you're passing at night. It could be a quick peek into someone else's family. My name is Peter. Those lips from which he drew his tomb. I'm 23 years old and I've lived at home all my life. as a winter moon. I'd like to feel tense around my friends when I was your age. So what I've been doing instead is spending a lot of my time. When I say something which deserves consideration. Is there Will you respond without thinking? Careful. There's something very special that happens when you point a, a camera at a human face. The face is this mask that we have that is loaded with decisions. I'm trying to find a way of expressing what the characters are feeling in, in a manner that's organic to their experience of the world. I'm somehow motivated by the idea that the human experience is most often non-linear. And the thing that excites me about film is that it, it's so malleable. It really is sculpting time. We're all living lives that have been knocked out of order by trauma or loss, and that's really what my project is all about. It's trying to find a way of allowing the viewer to enter into that and uncover something maybe that's very real and, and, and human at its heart. Thank you.